Coast-to-coast.com. Coast-to-coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'll be your host today. Paul Joseph Watson is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour, and we're going to be discussing Harry Reid's comments about domestic terrorists. Who are the real terrorists? What is the real law going on here? We're going to have that discussion. It's good that this is out in the open. It's good that we're seeing where people are falling, on which side they're falling. It's good to see the mainstream media having this discussion. And we're going to talk about what some people who have identified themselves as alternative media are saying about this, like Glenn Beck, for example. Alex Jones is also going to be joining us later in the show. And we've got some updates on the Bundy Ranch, as well as people now trying to dissect this. Like I said, we've now got some comments from Rand Paul and others. Uh, some excellent comments from Judge Napolitano. He's been on target on this from the very beginning saying things like, this is a legal case. If they win in court, then they get a lien. And then when the guy dies, they take his property. Or when he sells it, they take his property. You don't send an army in. And that's the battle right now in the info war. We've got people like Glenn Beck and the mainstream media who are doing everything they can to betray this as an act of aggression by people who peacefully stood up to tyranny that had been going on for over a week. Just the, this case has been going on for decades, but the army that went down there, that, that was really, really escalating. Just before we got down there to file our reports, of course, as you've seen, they attacked people with tasers, with canine dogs. They came up behind a woman, threw her down from behind. Okay, they're beating people up, and we're seeing this happening everywhere. This is what liberals need to understand. This is not about the cattle. This isn't about white people versus color people or people of color. White. This is not about any of those things. This isn't about a rich rancher. He's not rich. It's not about Mormons versus other people. Everybody's throwing in all of these personal issues to try to attack them because of whatever group they're involved in. It's not about that. We cover stories all the time about people of every age, race, sex, color, whatever, being attacked by the government, being killed by the government, who are never, and the agents who do this, the law enforcement people who do this are never brought to heel over this. This is out of control. And this is what's changing. This is what it was about. It was about facing down tyranny. And we have to have this discussion. We need to talk about who the real terrorists are. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about some other interesting things that are happening. Now, as this was going on this last week, we had the uh, income tax took place, okay, on federal forms were filled out. And I thought it was very interesting. We didn't have time to cover this because so much was happening in Nevada. But the Donald Rumsfeld letter that came out that everybody was talking about, he said uh, every year he writes a letter to the IRS and says, my taxes are a known unknown, <laughs> as only Donald Rumsfeld can put it. He sends a letter every year and says, I really have no idea what's in this. It's a very complicated situation. And he feels uncomfortable essentially signing his name to a declaration that can be used to say that he created perjury. That's what a lot of people have said. I always had that problem. I never sent him a letter like that because I wasn't Donald Rumsfeld. I, you know, he's pretty much inoculated against being prosecuted. It, wouldn't it be ironic if Donald Rumsfeld became the leader of a tax protest movement? <laughs> if everybody were to, to fill that out because they don't like it if you don't fill it out. They've had an airline pilot who had no complications in his tax form. He merely had wages, and he refused to sign it. They took him to court because he refused to sign it. He said, that you're requiring me to do self-incrimination. Well, of course, there's a lot of things that the IRS is being used for nowadays and used openly. They were always used to punish political enemies of both Democrats and Republicans. That is why they're reluctant, really, to do anything about this, the IRS being openly used to attack Tea Party members. They want that power when they get back in. That's what the Republicans want. They want to try to score some political points, but they want the power when they come back. So we're going to be talking about that. We also have reports from the New York Times that an American bank had a plane that landed in Tehran. 
And the American government and the Iranian government is not talking about this. But as we had on InfoWars today, bankers are behind the war. It's a story from Naomi Prince, who was just on the show yesterday. We're going to be right back. Your calls also on the Bundy Ranch. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show on this Friday, April 18th, 2014. Good Friday. And uh, we've got a big report here. There's a breaking story, very important story that just went up on InfoWars. White House counter-terror chief from Homeland Security, that's Lisa Monaco is saying that confrontational children could be terrorists. She's warning parents and telling them to watch their kids. Presumably, if they see their kids do something and maybe be a little bit rebellious, maybe they ought to call Homeland Security. You know, takes see something, say something to a whole new level. And Alex Jones has a breaking report on that. I've got Alex on the phone right now. We're going to play his report. Alex, what do you make of this? Well, there's two things that go together. And, and, and this is the biggest day of broadcast we've ever done. This is the most important issue we've ever covered concerning this republic. History repeats itself. I've studied the globalist. I've studied the homeland security system. We were the first to break all this. I'm not bragging. I'm saying people need to listen to me very carefully because now everything is two inches away from our face, not 20 miles away over the horizon. This is happening now. We have the video coming up. It's up on InfoWars.com in Paul Watson's article. 
that's the top uh, featured story from last night titled, Harry Reid Says Bundy Protesters Are Domestic Terrorists. We're going to be playing that video when Paul Watson comes up at the bottom of the hour to break all this down. He says that we wanted to kill women and children by putting them up front. No, that's what the feds did when they bombed Oklahoma City with the daycare center. Yeah. He says twice they're domestic terrorists, and he's working with the FBI to go after them. Now we have the White House Chief of Counterterrorism, a known complete globalist socialist, openly saying that your children may be terrorists if they literally throw a toy. Now, people say this sounds crazy, this sounds funny. No, it's not funny. They arrest kids for Nerf guns at school, the teacher tells them to bring. They arrest kids if they draw a picture of their dad who's in the Marine Corps. They're training everyone for thought police where you will be disappeared. This is an authoritarian psych warfare program. These are not environmentalist wackos. They're using it to take over. This is not a failed drug war. They ship the drugs in. This is not a failed, whacked out woman just demonizing her opposition. This is scientific, saying trust no one but the state. Walmart has telescreens across the country saying don't trust anyone but Homeland Security. Terrorists may be everywhere, while the government openly funds al-Qaeda to attack nations like Syria. It is totally naked. They think you're that stupid, ladies and gentlemen. To, in 24 hours, she went on television. We have that clip coming up as well. It's, the, it's at the bottom of the article where she says, and she gave another speech at Harvard repeating the same thing, saying seriously that, hey, your kids may be terrorists. Everyone's a terrorist. Everyone's a terrorist but the real terrorist that took over America. I'm going to say this very slowly. It's not rhetoric, ladies and gentlemen. This is an occupation global foreign banking government. Homeland Security is meant to absorb the old republic. My God, folks, Homeland Security is a Nazi term. It's the, the uniforms, all of it. It's totally naked. The armored vehicles being deployed. They want to start a civil war before the full depression hits to blame the depression on the civil war, to blame a war in, in, in uh, Ukraine on the depression. I've been telling everyone this for six years every day. I know the enemy. The enemy right Public, the enemy writes public manuals admitting all this. So we're going to go to my special report. David Knight's going to cover it. Everyone's going to cover it. We've got to get on the we've got to get on the offensive right now and let the globalists know that we understand their plan. We've got to stop a shootout with the feds. We've got to stop a civil war. We've got to stop a civil war. We've got to expose their paradigm as they try to play us off against each other like two Siamese fighting fish. I'm going to hand things over to you, David Knight. We'll play my report, and then Paul Watson is coming up. This is what zero tolerance is about, teaching us all that we're terrorists who can be disappeared under the NDAA. This is their attempt to flip the script, to flip the script from, from saying it's al-Qaeda to it's all of us. This is the criminal rogue government armed to the teeth against us, belligerently saying, you will go in your free speech zones, you will shut up, or we will arrest you for terrorism. This is the New World Order takeover. This proves everything I ever said. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a maximum red alert to call Congress, to call everybody, to call talk radio. That's why Glenn Beck is scared and now saying anybody who opposes or criticizes the government's a terrorist, because he said three years ago they're going to bomb stuff and blame it on the liberty movement, like Oklahoma City, and he showed their own documents on Fox News. He knows a lot of people are going to get scared now and join with the New World Order out of fear, because they're going to stage false flags and blame it on us, unless we maximum expose this right now and call the media, call the system, get on the streets everywhere, and let people know that we're aware of what they're doing. And when there is a false flag, you've got to run to the false flag with your video cameras because the feds and the globalists are so sloppy, you will probably see them literally running out with bombs and things like at Oklahoma City. We're going to get their names, just like the underwear bomber. That was the CIA. Our witnesses were correct. We're going to get the names like the Boston bombing. We are going to expose what they're doing. God bless you, David Knight. We'll be covering it Sunday as well. This is a maximum issue as they announce that we are all terrorists. We are all suspects except for the out of control government run by foreign banks. David Knight, thank you very much. Absolutely right, Alex. That's why it was so imperative that we be there. That's why we weren't shooting pictures from the overpass. We have to see what's going on. People needed to see that the narrative that they're putting out there now about us strategizing to put women and children out front, 
Sheriff Mack has now backed off of that. He says, I wasn't there. I didn't get there till after that happened. He was just talking about it afterwards. We have the video. We show 